One quick thing before I start. A huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Your support makes these comparisons possible, and I truly appreciate it. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you. But now, let's move on to our comparison of the cameras on both drones. It's important to realize that the camera and the three-axis gimbal make up the largest portion of a drone's cost. In the upper half, you can see the footage from the DJI Mini 4 Pro, while the Femi Mini 3 is displayed in the lower half. Both drones feature a sleek and lightweight design, weighing only 250 grams. This means that in most areas, no special training or permits are required to fly them. Their compact size, comparable to a smartphone, makes them incredibly portable and easy to carry anywhere. Additionally, their foldable design allows for convenient storage, enabling you to enjoy flying pleasure anytime, anywhere. In the upper half, we can see a significantly better performance of the drone in low light conditions. However, it should be noted that the DJI Mini 4 Pro costs more than twice as much as the Femi Mini 3. However, we see an impressive improvement in camera quality between the latest models from Femi. Hopefully, this development will continue in the future. I analyze drone footage at various zoom levels. To make the differences more visible for smartphone users, I additionally enlarge certain image sections with a magnifying glass. The footage from the Femi appears very greenish, which is due to the built-in sensor. However, considering the price range, it still delivers fairly usable night shots. Both drones aim to provide high-quality aerial imaging in a compact and lightweight design, but there are significant differences in their camera capabilities. The DJI Mini 4 Pro is equipped with a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, capturing 48 megapixel photos and recording 4K video at up to 100 frames per second. This larger sensor allows for improved low light performance, greater dynamic range, and better overall image quality. In contrast, the Femi Mini 3 features a 1 over 2 inch Sony 48 megapixel stacked CMOS image sensor capable of recording 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. Equipped with this advanced sensor, the Femi Mini 3 achieves remarkable performance enhancements, ensuring detailed recording in any lighting condition. While it provides decent image quality, its smaller sensor means lower light sensitivity and less dynamic range compared to the Mini 4 Pro. In terms of dynamic range, the Mini 4 Pro offers HDR video recording enhancing contrast and color vibrancy in high contrast environments. The larger sensor ensures superior dynamic range, preserving details in highlights and shadows. The Fiami Mini 3, on the other hand, supports HDR photography, but lacks true HDR video recording, resulting in a more limited dynamic range in videos. Additionally, the Femi Mini 3 features an AI Super Night video mode powered by a latest generation AI ISP chip. This technology achieves a 400% higher signal to noise ratio compared to the Femi X8 Mini V2, delivering stunning night scenes even in low light conditions. As seen in my previous comparisons, such as with the DJI Mini 4K, the Femi offers really good camera quality. This may also be related to the fact that Femi is part of the Xiaomi group which has extensive technical expertise in the smartphone camera sector. Stabilization is essential for smooth footage, and both drones are equipped with a three-axis mechanical gimbal. However, DJI's stabilization technology is generally considered superior, providing more consistent and ultra-smooth footage, even in windy conditions or during rapid maneuvers. When it comes to video quality, the DJI Mini 4 Pro supports a 150 megabits per second bitrate and includes D-Log M and HLG color profiles, offering more flexibility in post-production. The Femi Mini 3, with its 100 megabits per second bitrate and standard color profiles, is more limited in post-processing capabilities. If camera performance is a top priority, the DJI Mini 4 Pro is the superior choice due to its larger sensor higher resolution, better low light capabilities, 
and advanced shooting features. The Femi Mini 3, while more affordable, is better suited for casual users who need a budget-friendly drone with decent imaging capabilities, but without the advanced professional features of the DJI Mini 4 Pro. In the many drone comparisons I have conducted, we have often seen that the gap in camera quality between inexpensive and expensive drones is sometimes extremely large. However, this cannot be claimed in this case, as the Femi Mini 3 leaves a good impression even in challenging lighting conditions. In the lower half, we can see that the night mode of the Femi Mini 3 only provides benefits in truly dark environments. In this case, the footage appears overexposed and washed out. In this case of a night footage with very bright areas, it is highly recommended to use the normal mode. With both the DJI and the Femi, you will achieve significantly better results this way. Aperture size plays a crucial role in low light conditions. The DJI Mini 4 Pro with its f1.7 aperture captures more light, leading to improved performance in dark environments with reduced noise. The Femi Mini 3 featuring an f2.0 aperture allows a fair amount of light but performs slightly worse in low light situations. A three axis gimbal offers significant advantages for low light filming, particularly when used with drones. One of the key benefits is its ability to stabilize the camera, reducing shakiness and allowing for smoother, more controlled shots. This is especially important in low light conditions where longer exposure times are required to capture enough light. A stable shot is crucial in these situations as any movement can result in blurry or shaky footage, which is often more noticeable when the environment is darker. Additionally, three axis gimbals help maintain consistent framing, even as the drone moves or shifts altitude. This allows for sharper, more detailed images without the distortion or motion blur that can occur when the camera is not stabilized. In contrast, smartphones, even with advanced cameras, lack the same level of stabilization. While they may feature software-based stabilization or optical image stabilization, OIS, these systems can't match the precision and fluidity of a mechanical three-axis gimbal. After the Femi Mini 3 clearly outperformed the DJI Mini 4K in a previous comparison, it must be said that in this comparison with the DJI Mini 4 Pro, the Femi performed well, but ultimately falls short against the significantly more expensive Mini 4 Pro. Here, during the drone's ascent, we again notice the slight greenish tint that the Femi has in night shots. It's not very noticeable and can easily be removed in post-production of the video footage. The Femi Mini 3 utilizes advanced 8K resolution time-lapse technology, capturing every moment with exceptional detail at up to 8,000 by 6,000 pixels. This capability ensures stunning clarity, allowing for the creation of high-quality time-lapse sequences with remarkable precision. The Mini 4 Pro, which costs more than twice as much, performs significantly better under these extreme conditions. The footage has noticeably less noise, and the colors appear more natural rather than artificial, as seen with the Femi. If you enjoy my drone comparisons and want to see more, subscribing to my channel would help me tremendously. Your support allows me to continue testing and sharing valuable insights. How can I make my drone comparisons even better? Let me know what you like and what could be improved in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next drone comparison, because the next one is already in the works.